Alright, I've been sitting here listening to this music for like 10 minutes. Taking a bit. Oh shit, I haven't turned my fan off. <laughs> I'm not a professional. I, w I really would like to know just how the design process happened in this game. Um, it's it's really. I, I, I freaking love it. Just how long did it take on each of these environments? Like the Opera House. Like when I think of the Opera House, I think that must have taken so long. And then you look at this place and you're like, this looks even more complicated. Well, actually, no, it doesn't, if I'm honest. <laughs> it doesn't. It's just kind of like a few little ornaments, a few little extrusions, some pillars. You know, the, the Opera House had a lot more, more flair, a lot more ornament, but just design. In terms of design, I want to see references. I want to know what the what the plan was. I want to know the, the the thought process. Even that, look at that. That's crazy. There's a mountain in the back. It's appreciation hours. I I can't I can't open it. That's all right because I want to see more of the outside. I wanna I wanna be part of it. I wanna I wanna engage. I wanna... Oh God, I'm like a child right now. I'm wound up. I'm wound up and I'm ready to go. Just send me in a direction and I'll I'll run. Um, little bit of a plot hole about why the puppets are still moving now because they should all be kind of depressed the king's dead and they're not receiving any instructions so it's a bit it's a bit weird that they are still operating with murderous intent they should just kind of be very docile a centurion oh that's amazing that's so cool it's a royal guard you're gonna whoop my ass, but I want to fight you. I want to fight. Whoop my ass, please. Kick my ass. Do it. Do it. Oh god, the stuttering. The stuttering. The stuttering. The stuttering. He's uh, run, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> There's no way to run. I'm trapped. Up, up here, up here, up here. I just need a stargazer. One stargazer. That's all I need. Please. But I'm pretty sure he drops quartz. I'm, I'm a hundred percent sure he drops quartz. Or he drops something. He drops something of value. He has to. All the elite enemies in this game drop something of value. It's it's just, I don't know what it is, it's mandatory. But it doesn't matter. This looks amazing and I, I, I want it. Call me a coward, I don't care. It's, 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 this is, this is something, eh? I don't think there's many games that have this sort of aesthetic or this sort of experience. You know, games usually follow the tried and true method of like medieval knights and, and old-fashioned stuff. I don't think I've seen many games explore this industrial setting other than Bioshock Infinite. Maybe I'm, you know, uninitiated in, in that genre or that, that atmosphere in gaming, but I don't see it very often or I've not played many games. If I can't name the games off the top of my head, then there probably weren't many. And this is such an untapped, like, this is such an untapped time, like, historical time period. The only other game I think that did something in this time period was Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which was based in the Victorian era. But even then, that was very, it lacked that fantasy element, you know, it, it wasn't, um, you know, taking creative liberties. It was sticking to a realistic setting, apart from the fact that you could literally shoot a, a rope grappling hook out of your wrist and somehow it managed to climb you all the way to the top of Big Ben. That part maybe realism wasn't exactly considered but you know for the most part you know uh, Ubisoft always does environments great always but it's just nice to see that this company has done something something incredibly incredibly unique I may not agree with all the design choices. 
But I'm I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this very very much. Now, this looks like it's actually going to be a step up in difficulty. I saw one enemy. It had like two appendages, both sharp objects, almost like an arachnid or like the iron spider. That's not going to be fun. I feel like my parry game is going to have to elevate. I'm going to have to go through a whole mental training arc in my mind because I don't have 10 years to spend learning how to parry. So I'm going to have to just kind of elevate as I progress. Which is going to be an interesting experience to say the least. Ah, this is where the, um, the puppet of the future was built. Yeah, that thing. Okay, that thing actually looks menacing. Ridiculous. Let's fight it. Hello, my friend. Oh, what a parry. What a parry. Oh my gosh. You have to you have to reward yourself when you when you finally do something nicely. You have to be kind, you know. I feel like in these games there's too many times where we just get angry. Tranquilo, tranquilo. I do like how, even though it's all mechanical, there is still a, a sort of, uh, what's the word? A sort of uh, appreciation for the ancient arts. It's like, even though technology has progressed, we are still encapsulating the ancient stonemasons or ancient sculptors. Oh my, nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, look, look for the path. There's a centurion. Where the hell is this going? Because that, that's not fair, okay? To have a Centurion there as well. Does he drop a Legion plug? Because then I'll take this fight. But if he drops disappointment, then I am going to send a strongly worded email to whomever decided to put this enemy right here. Right. Perfect. That was perfect. Oh, pop fuck! Find safety, find safety, find safety, find safety. Find safety, find safety, find safety, find safety. There is no safety. There there's no safety except for inside, but even inside there is no safety because inside is full with the rampant machines. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm stuck inside and I'm stuck outside. The only place I'm safe is in Papa's sweet embrace. There we go. I do like the weapon breaks in this game. They are very, very nice. It's a nice feature to know that you're actually having an effect on, on something. Like all the parrying isn't just, oh, look at me, my ankles are slipping. Oh, this is, that's fucked up. Oh, that's really fucked up. Oh, that's even more fucked up. What kind of nonsense is this? Alright. Forget the item. There we go. Dead, dead, deaded. Behave, behave, behave. Oh, what a parry. What a parry. What a parry. Well, that third one wasn't a parry, but, you know, you get my gist. You guys pick up what I'm putting down, right? But this is messed up. Come on. Come on. It's Todd. <laughs> he won't let me live. Todd. Why? Why? Why must we be subjected to this hell? What's going on? <gasps> my word, you look ragged. Don't, don't come any closer. Bell. Oh, you're not one of them. Please. Are you here to save me? Do you see anyone else here who looks this fabulous? Jerks are not to be messed with. Especially after they took that drug. Then there are those biological experiments. Oh, how horrid. I can't reveal everything, but suffice it to say that I can escape on my own if you clear the way a bit. Please. Wipe out all those mongrels. Okay. Yeah, all right. Please, it'll Wait. be easier to breathe once that horrid victor has been taken out. What? At the hotel? What hotel? I never talked to you about a hotel. Please, it'll Wait. be easier to breathe once that... 
But, um, right. I'm not usually that guy. But, respectfully. Madam. Respectfully. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. The neurons were activating. The, 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 I, mean, I was just, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't look away. I, I can't, I, I can't lie. I can't lie when I know something is to be true and to be respected. I just, I, <laughs> Lorenzini Benini. Okay, shortcut. Ladder. This feels just like the Cathedral of the Deep. Where's Patches? Where is he? Hello? What's all this then? There's a bit of treasure down there. Oh, I don't need it. I'm just Patches. Patches the Unbreakable. Oh, God. That sounds really whiny. Because because of just the way my, my, my voice is right now, it sounds whiny. Um, circus ad. The man who stood at the pinnacle of life, Champion Victor, has returned! Do you remember the great wrestler Victor? The Hercules of Cross, the man who never backed down even when pitted against a lion and a bear. The veteran warrior who painted the circus with your cheers and applause. Victor is coming back to us! Victor's incurable illness that suddenly came a few years ago saddened all of Kratz's citizens. He's human, but with the help of the alchemists and medical science, Champion Victor is back from the dead. We found our boss. None other than an automated puppet. This is our boss. Okay. He's a wrestler. He is a wrestler. I recognize this one. From many moons ago. Absolute piece of shit. Alright, breakthrough, come on. We already know where this is going. Ooh. Oh. Excuse me. Don't mind me. Hello. Okay. This is not, this is not healthy. Please. Not healthy. Not healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Fuck. The other one's out. This one's gonna come to life too. Knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, bop, 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 What's going on? What's going on? Okay, these look like the bio tanks. The bio tanks that house the people who are being experimented on. So it looks like. Oh, not this fucking guy! What cannot be used before it breaks? An egg. You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so I don't even understand if that. Okay, no, it took me a while to understand the, the wording. I'm, a, I'm like that. Just, just give me my key, please. Behold the fingertips of the cold woman at the Grand Exhibition. All I know is Belle. Belle's the only woman I've met here. Is there something to do with her? Finally, he's actually chucked down a pretty good riddle. What in the Peaky Blinders? Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Oh, Arthur? Oh, Arthur. You silly sausage. What the... Oh, hello. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Bonk, 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 bonk. This might be it for our hero. Oh! No, it's not. Where well, there's a path, there's a way. 
There's a way, there's a way, there's a way, there's a way, there's a way. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Shush, 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 shush. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Now I can die. <gasps> and a supply box. Polandina. Boss room. Oh, shit. Oh, my. Oh, my. Distinguished. <laughs> Distinguished. Mother, I'm afraid I no longer can associate with you. I'm too distinguished. What nonsense. You're never too distinguished for your dear mother. All right, let's open the door. Open the door. Welcome to my brain. This is where evolution becomes real. Hear me. I am victory. The champion. Ah, so you're Victor. Holy crap. He came out smashing. Um, so you're Victor. Nice to meet you. Um. Please, don't do that again. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. 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 So, I was gonna say a few things during that cutscene, but I thought, no. Wait. You'll have your time. First of all, it was very Frankenstein-esque. And, you know, Victor just proved it, that Frankenstein's monster exists. Um, yeah, so that, that was actually very, very interesting to see. Um... Wasn't expecting that quick of a move set, so he's exactly like the other man that we didn't beat. So maybe if I fought that enemy before, I would have been more prepared to fight Victor. I mean, they did say he was a wrestler, so I don't know what I was expecting. Um, but I wasn't expecting him to be that sort of. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe quickly. I mean, I didn't think I'd get it first try. I didn't think he'd have a simple move set, but let's try again. Open your eyes. Gaze upon the new world. Ooh. Whoops. Can you even parry him? Well, I mean, obviously you can parry him, but... Ooh, my word, that's that's tricky. His fist flies a lot faster than my parry reactions can handle. He's got me speaking in, in syllables rather than in words. Oh, 
Oh, fuck off. Why wouldn't there be? Alright, why wouldn't there be? He's voiding out. Okay, great. <sighs> Alright. Alright. <sighs> the new world belongs to us. As if this wasn't hard enough. Oh, and he's faster. And he's so much faster. Jesus, was that an attack? I didn't do shit to him! My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Oh, fuck! Fuck! That flurry, that... Oh my god, that flurry took me out! Otherwise I had that! I genuinely had that, that flurry just took me out. I just dodged all at the wrong times and oh... I used my cell when I didn't need to. I just made two key mistakes there and I flopped it. But otherwise I had it. I was in it. I was in a zone. I was seeing the attacks. I just, I don't know, man. My heart was going. The stress got to me. The adrenaline was pumping too hard. Ah, well. The most fun about these types of fights is that you get to do them again and again and again and find yourself getting closer. Okay, whatever. Okay. Oh, I could have used Aegis. Oh, I'm a goober. I'm a goober brain. I could have used Aegis. If I was on the show, I just keep forgetting that there's stuff in the game. I keep forgetting. It's just, in my eyes, it's just use the skill. Do it, do it. Like, I, it's like I'm playing on even harder mode. I just refuse to use any consumables or any sort of 
helping hand or any sort of buffs. I just refuse to. I don't know why I'm like this. I just, it's how I'm comfortable playing. I don't know. It's just usually I guess you don't use them unless you're confident you can do something. But genuinely, I, I just, I beat them before I get to that point in my head where I say, okay, I know what to do. Just use it now. Nice! Great! I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? <laughs> This place was annoying, they're all monsters. You're short-sighted, just like your father. But you speak the truth as you see it, just like everyone else. Mm. We, on the other hand, mm. are visionaries. We understand the petrification disease on a deeper level. The disease does not signify death. <laughs> it's the process of purifying a person's, person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes. The ergo our undertaking is to help others ergo's power can do even more. We already have the means to control that power. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a few times. <sighs> Maybe.
maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet, and I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists, isn't hospitable. I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to, but he does sound quite distinguished. Sucks what happened to Victor, but he was an asshole. I bet you he was an asshole. Let me repair the stargazer. I don't know what happened there. I kind of just locked in at the end and but anyway, Simon, um, mysterious, thorny person. Um, thank you for your hospitality and I will see you later. So yeah, that was a uh, Victor. That was that was quite the ordeal, actually. Um, yeah, just just locked in at the end there. I kind of just started seeing everything he was doing. The parries were good. The dodging. I think he is a dodging centric boss, but I kind of had like a mental note of where I was supposed to go, what I was supposed to do. Um, not a bad boss fight. He just has a lot of health, like a, a very very high health pool. But otherwise, it was actually a very fun fight. Once you get into the rhythm of it. Um, I don't want to deal with you. You're, you're stinky. He's not giving me a choice. He's persuasive. Oh my god, he's such a pain. Every time they do a move, my frames drop. I'm fighting against the variable frame rate. Oh my god. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Get out of my sight. You're bad. You're bad, you're bad at the game. My frames keep going topsy-turvy. I'm fighting a losing battle against more than one aspect of the game. Why am I still playing like this? Uh, I hope this doesn't become a recurring thing. I really hope it doesn't, but where does this lead? <gasps> Sophia! My giant-handed beloved. Respect. System reset. <gasps> Sorry to startle you. It seems that the power of the listener within me, the power to hear Ergo, is getting stronger. Damn, I'm handsome. It's powerful enough to send not only my voice, but even illusions. Oh, I'm blinking. I never used to blink. Maybe it's because of the power of this same and my face is twitching. I came to you my body's twitching. I wanted to tell you about Simon. The terrible things he does. I should have told you about Simon earlier. Oh, hold on. She's but she's dropping some gospel on me. To see, to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Hmm. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Krat. A horrible future. Your hair is a really nice shade of blue. It's not too bright, not too dark. Stop, it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. Papa. I will help as much as I can, of course. Please. Papa will know. Papa always knows. Papa knows too much. I've always wondered why now I understand. I wanted someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted some. But the alchemists have tainted everything. Like many of their creations. Oh. It's tragic. But you if they get the chance, the alchemists might force me don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists collect gold coins fruits, fruits and let the saintess inspire let the you to victory statue. petrification disease puppet friends ergo is the essence of life May that's why puppets don't sometimes awaken their, their old selves. selves simon coveted ergo's power and he now became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of simon the king of puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope 
He didn't do well because someone told me to go kill him. Whatever choice you make. If it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't for Papa telling me to go kill the King of Puppets, maybe we could have worked together to fight Simon. Oh, this device must be powered by gold coin And I do have, um, gold coin fruit. Ah, okay. Okay. That's, that's something for later. That's to think about later. Um, level me up, please. We're going straight motivity, son. Straight motivity. Not even a question. There we go. My frames are dropping. The rain be, be, be hurting. The rain does be hurting my, my frames a lot. Um... Right, let's go back to Krat Hotel and wrap it all up over there. Ah, uh, back at the hotel. Oh, the lady! Hear me tonight, cause my feeling is just so right. Hit me with that divine service. So that's actually quite cool. Um, Ergo is actually a person. Or it's human lady remnants. Lady Antonia has heard about the grand exhibition. Her illness has worsened. Lady Antonia cautions against it. To be sure, I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. But it's an alchemist. Please find a way to treat her. We we can't do it if it's an alchemist. This is a supply. I shall open it. No right. matter what they serving her. Welcome. Okay. I know I'm skipping through some of the dialogue, no but I am reading it. Her, I'm a very fast reader, and I'm sort of like summarizing it, gaining a um just a gist of what's going on. Afraid you saw my bad side at the grand exhibition. I was able to escape. It's kind of hot, to you. actually. I if didn't I'm mean to just be being honest. Grateful. I'm a soldier from outside Croft. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. Respectfully. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? Say less. Stay wherever you want. What is happening? I get the pup. What is happening? So does she do nothing? She's just a soldier. What is happening? Okay, yeah, she's just a soldier. I I think later on there'll be a development. Um Pulcinella, nothing. Lorenzini Venini. Just find saving people is its own reward. I certainly don't need the money. If we who live through times like this, this don't, don't live, live the best lives we can. can. We dishonor the memories of all that we've lost. In a way, I envy the dead. I envy the dead. They don't have to know. <laughs> and here I go again. Blah, 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 and who cares? Hey, that's like my entire channel. I knew I had something in common with Lara Zidi Fedidi. Zidi. The Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? Very it's a well. Conscience. Then. Well, Geppetto himself created it. Himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet. A sort of... Conch. It's because we don't truly understand Ergo. At least, that's my view. Sometimes, Ergo-driven puppets... Awakened what egos. Call okay. Awakened ego. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Human so the king of puppets hmm. how did he get around the that's true the actually yeah that's true he used the ergo wavelengths but what did however he... it's a different story when a single puppet... does the grand covenant break or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the grand covenant if it's the former the king of puppets is the culprit if it's the latter the king of puppets is a means to an end hmm. i am but a simple Brilliant, genius, and a man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. Okay, I have a weird idea. I have I a crazy idea. This. Okay, I have a crazy idea. So, from that conversation, we learned that the Grand Covenant was basically implemented by uh, Lorenzini and Geppetto. And that it shouldn't... Um, that those two people were involved in it and it shouldn't have failed right now if we take the the concept that they produced of uh, a puppet awakening an ego okay that's understandable um, 
I'm just gonna hold on to that for now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm wrapped up in the head cannon. So, if, if, if he awoken by himself, that's fine. He had his own agenda. So, cause the puppet frenzy. That makes sense. You know, the puppets revolt. Um, not sure why they would revolt, but they revolt. Um, fine. Oh, he's gone. Um, but if it's the latter and somebody lifted the covenant, then by that conversation, the only people who could do that was either Vanini or Geppetto themselves, because they were the only two involved in the process. Oh, that's interesting. Vanini, are you playing me? Is this some big twist that's going to come at the end that you are actually not Lorenzini Vanini, but Lorenzini Evil Nini? I don't know, that's a dangerous thought right there, if I'm honest. But that makes sense, right? If those two were the only ones involved in the Grand Coven, if it was done intentionally, if it was lifted intentionally, it makes sense that those two were the only ones who would know how to do it. Or even if somebody else did it, it would have to be based off their knowledge. I don't know, that's interesting. Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Are you sure? Make the cure. I leave the choice to you. I'll make the cure if you give me one. Make it, make it, make it, make it. I have to protect Antonio. Stalker, please. The cure isn't Antonia's done a lot for us. Just let her, let her come to terms with her end. A quick painful end doesn't mean that a person's always... A, a quick painless end doesn't mean that a person's always... Um come to terms with with their death you know let her let her have the time to process and to sort of prepare herself oh wait Hollandina that's right Hollandina I believe in you and my possibility of doing death ah yes Thank you. I did a good thing. I did a very good thing. Papa, you would not believe the adventure I've had. You don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel. Ask me about her. Oh, you have nothing to say. Okay. But there we go. Alright. That's it. We're finished. Écoutez mon cœur. Alright, that's it. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. Thank you for your support in the boss fights or just in general. Um, with likes, comments, subs, anything, all of it. It helps. It, it makes me motivated to do more. Um, I'll do them regardless, but you know, incentive. Um, and yeah, nothing left to do but just gaze into my loving eyes as we... Uh, end it here so thank you and good night <laughs>